Sagittarius. This will happen in the next 40 hours for December the 8th through December the 9th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for December the 8th through December the 9th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Sagittarius for December the 8th through December the 9th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Sagittarius for December the 8th through December the 9th, 2023. Show me. Happy birthday, Sag. Happy birthday. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So... Sagittarius. Sag, these are your cards, honey. So, Sag, you have the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Sagittarius. Clarify the Empress for Sagittarius. Clarify the Empress for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. Brand new practical beginnings. So Sag, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment here. Now Sag, listen, it very well could be you're getting this practicality, your abundance here, Sag. Or Sag, this can also be an offer to nurture the relationship further. Have some type of commitment here. Sag, you have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Sag, listen, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Now, Sag, listen, it could be something romantic coming into you at a celebration, your birthday party here, Sag. Or this is a proposal here. I mean, I, I, there's some type of proposal here, Sag. Sag, you have the three of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, 
This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Sad, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now, you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. So this is why they're jumping high here. Clarify the three of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the three of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the three of swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Sag, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Sagittarius. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Sagittarius. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment. But this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging trying to numb out. Like I said, Sag, I feel like they may have hurt your feelings in the past or they hurt you in the past with someone, but they're here to change this and make a believer out of you, Sag. Things have changed here. And it's a smile on your face because I feel like they're jumping high to get you back. Sag, you have the page of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea, the news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Sag, listen, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of wands for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Sag, listen, you could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Now Sag, listen, you guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument over the coins here. And this is the whole reason for the apology. Sag, you can tell me that, you know, you guys got into a heated discussion or argument and you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. You could also tell me that at one point you found passionate messages and heard the news of them sharing passion with a third party. And now you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship because they're jumping high here. Sag, you have the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Ooh. So Sag, could be dealing with a Taurus, 
but you guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional. Believes in the institution of marriage and family. Someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle. Closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Sag, listen, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys. Emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Sagittarius. Clarify the world for Sagittarius. Clarify the world for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is She Who Knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition, but you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius. Clarify the High Priestess for Sagittarius. Clarify the High Priestess for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Sag could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Page of Wands again. Hmm. So Sag, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the Page of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the Page of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the Page of Wands. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the Knight of Cups again. Hmm. So, like I said, this can be them coming into you, or you coming to them into them to apologize, to offer you a cup of love, or make the romantic gesture here. So, someone could be saying that I'm sorry, or they could be coming in with a romantic gesture. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. 
Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using a sword to sever. Now, Sag, like I told you before, one of two things happened here. Either you guys had this heated discussion or argument and it hurt your feelings. Or you found passionate messages and heard the news of them sharing passion, Sag. And Sag, I feel like you cut them off, but they're coming in here to apologize, hoping that you guys start a new cycle and you forgive them, okay? But not just that, they can also be coming in to make you use your intuition on whether or not you want to file some type of legal documentation or paperwork to go into some type of commitment with this person because this can be a proposal that's happening here, speaking on commitment here. Ultimately, you have to make the decision, Sag. You have to make a decision on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship after this argument, after finding these passionate messages. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Sag. Now, this is just additional messages here. And it says, legal court paperwork filed. Legal court paperwork filed. Okay. What else for Sagittarius? What else for Sagittarius? And it says, Escapade, vacation, hideaway, adventure. Escape, vacation, hideaway, adventure. Hmm. Hmm. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Sag, this will happen in the next 48 hours for December the 8th through December the 9th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment and share and follow me on twitter at her immortal madge m-a-j and i'll see you guys next week peace